What's poppin' people? I'm currently going for a walk here in Fairmount Park, Philadelphia, and man, just listen to the beautiful sounds and the beautiful sights. You know, maybe this is what photography is all about. It's engaging the central experience of physical embodied reality. And one of the thoughts that I have about photography is treating it as a stream of becoming. And so as I cross this stream here, it reminds me of being a child. And when I was a young boy playing in the Wissican Forest, I remember making bridges very similar to this one here that you can see with rocks and stones and logs, and to see if me and my friends could cross the stream. Sometimes I would even play alone. And I think that when you consider evolution and this stream of becoming in the context of photography, perhaps it is most wise for us to return to the childlike state where curiosity is at the forefront. You know, think of a child where things become novel. You know, when you are a child and you're exploring, you're open without preconceived notions of what you will find. And I think that this is one of the critical key ingredients that a street photographer must possess. And so when you embrace this childlike curiosity, the photographs that you wind up making evoke the spirit of play. You know, think of a child voluntarily playing games in the playground. And the way in which a child sort of just generally engages with the world, where a child has infinite potential. A child has so much ahead of them, so much more evolution to embark on. And so when you consider this in the context of photography, perhaps to always change, to always evolve, should be the goal. And so remaining in a state of flux, remaining in a state of flow. And I believe that through this state of production, where carrying a camera on you at all times, simply just having it in your front right pocket and treating photography very loosely in a snapshot approach, almost like a personal diary of your day, you're quite literally documenting your evolutionary journey, your life, your perspective, your soul. And I think the evolution of the soul, the evolution of the photographer, is perhaps the most interesting journey one can embark on in life. You know, for photography requires the individual to explore the open world, to conquer open spaces. And there's nothing better to do in life, in my opinion, but walk and to explore and to observe deeply through all the senses, through the sights, the sounds, the smells. And so when you're embarking on your photographic journey, treat the next photograph you make as your next best photograph. And essentially what that means is there's no such thing as good or bad photographs, but to remain in a flow state of production as the ultimate aim and goal, to return to the childlike state each and every morning, where when I go to bed at night, I almost treat it like a miniature death. And then when I wake up in the morning, it's like I'm born again. And I think entering the state of death and rebirth and growth being the outcome, you know, this endless evolutionary journey is something that we should hone in on as photographers, where we must remain in motion, we must remain in flux, and maybe stagnation is the ultimate death of the photographer. You know, maybe the idea is once you stop making photographs, you know, that is your death, and you have to constantly move and push and evolve and tinker and explore. I think the idea is simple. It's just to remain in the state of production, remain in the spirit of play, to remain a child forever. Yeah, it's perhaps the ultimate goal of a photographer. And yeah, just embracing that notion that your next photograph is your best photograph unlocks this infinite abundant potential where you remain so present within the moment forgetting about the past, you know, not worrying about the future, sort of just existing outside the passage of time, in motion, in flux, in a stream of becoming. You know, where the photographic journey is a joy when you detach from the outcome, when you detach from the photograph, when you detach from the result itself, and you simply remain in the state of production. You know, on to the next one. You know, with each click of the shutter, you're simply affirming life. You know, with each click of the shutter, you're saying yes to life. And I just wanted to share that notion of the stream of becoming and just flesh out some of the ideas I have about it because it's very empowering to remain in this production, to remain in this flow state. And to think about photography this way, where it is endless, it is infinite, and there's just so much to do, there's so much to see, and there's so much to explore in this life of ours, you know? And so, I believe that the goal is to stay moving and to be in flux in the stream of becoming.